What's up guys? My name is Exotic Gaming and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D weapon review. Today's video is so much hype because we are reviewing one of the more unusual weapons in this game, the Pizza Heater. You ever wanted to make a pizza out of the enemies in Pixel Gun 3D? Well, now you can with the Pizza Heater. Guys, thank you so much for 400,000 subscribers though. We finally hit it. I'm so happy. You guys are the best. If you want me to do that subscriber live stream for Pixel Gun that I was talking about earlier, please leave a like down below. If we get enough support, as I said, that live stream on this game will definitely happen in the near future. Anyways, with all this being said, let's jump into the review. Going into the armory section, heading over to our backup section, we have one of the first flamethrowers introduced into the backup section here. This thing warms up pizzas in its alternate life, but in Pixel Gun, it warms up the enemies and burns them to a crisp. Kinda like a pizza, we would say. Now, this legendary backup weapon has a 33 power with a 100 firing rate, a 55 capacity, and a 75 mobility, and it says it's an electro thrower. Again, it's a flamethrower for the backup section, and I think it's pretty cool. Now, since it is a flamethrower, you're going to want to go take this thing into close range matches. You're not going to do well if you take this thing into something like Nuclear City or Paradise Resorts. You may get a couple of kills on players that are pretty close to you, but generally, you're going to want to keep this thing at long range, and that way you can get the most amount of kills with this thing. As you can see, it does a pretty good job taking people out. Actually, has a pretty decent range, but as you can also see, it uh, you're definitely going to have a bit of a difficult time taking some players out if they have something that's a little bit more powerful than you. But as you can see right there, I just joined in three kills instantly. I mean, there's not really much of a problem. You can get four kills. You can get nice, easy kills with this thing because it is a backup flamethrower. And flamethrowers in Pixel Gun 3D are known to kill players pretty freaking fast. That's at least what I have come to realize in this game. Now, there are some that are not super powerful, like the Nitrogen Sprayer and maybe the Mystical or Emitter, but for the most part, most weapons in Pixel Gun 3D that are flamethrowers are really freaking powerful, and this one is no exception. I actually would be willing to say that this is one of the more powerful backup weapons in this game. This is probably in the top five most powerful backup weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. It's good. It's really good. I mean, as you all can see, it actually has a really nice range as well, and you can destroy the enemies that you come in contact with. I mean, my God, I've gotten a heck of a lot of kills here. Like, look at that range. That's a pretty decent range, man. That's like, what, five feet away from the enemy or something like that? That's pretty good. I mean, you don't even have to, like, worry about the same distance that you would get with something like the Flaming Volcano or the Pet Dragon because I feel like this has a better range. And, uh, well, you do well. You take people out pretty well. It has an unusual sound, I have to say. It almost sounds like it's glitching out. I don't really like the sound too much. I think they maybe tried to make it sound cool in that respect, but in the end, I don't think it sounds very cool. Um, it almost sounds like my game's gonna break. I mean, uh, it's weird. It's weird. I'm gonna try to show you guys after I uh, find the next person. But just listen to this sound, and uh, <laughs> it's a little unusual. That's all I have to say. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of it, because, uh... Yeah, it almost feels like my speakers are breaking. You know when you're, like, in an old car, and maybe the speakers are broken, and then you blast the bass in the old car, and then it kind of just sounds terrible? That's kind of what the electro thrower sounds like. I don't know how it sounds like electricity is being blasted out of the weapon, but, uh... I guess that's how they created it, and hey, I, I guess that's good because it sounds a little bit different than other weapons in this game. Most weapons in Pixel Gun 3D sound like lasers or just like a regular explosion. This one's just different, so uh, I guess that's good. I mean, I mean, how many weapons can we say in Pixel Gun 3D have that same little laser sound like uh, the Crystal Laser Cannon has? Probably a lot, probably a lot, and uh, at least this one's a little bit different. I'm gonna die. I'm out of ammo. Please kill me. You took so long to kill me. You had the minigun shotgun. Come on, man. This thing, I think, is better than the minigun shotgun, in all honesty, just because it's a powerful, consistent shot out of the weapon. I mean, look at how fast that thing just destroys enemies. It's actually more powerful than most other primary weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. It's, it's awesome. The pizza heater's the way to go. I mean, my God, I am hungry right now. I just got myself some Chinese food for lunch. And I'm already hungry, and I want some pizza now. I might order myself some pizza after recording this video. Who wants Pizza Hut? Want me to order you some? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm getting some meat pizza with a stuffed crust. 
I'm all about that stuffed crust. We don't want no regular crust and pizza. No, no, no. Hopefully the pizza heater can make us a customized pizza. I mean, my God, that could be the next weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. We got the pizza heater right now. This is like the last stage of production of a regular pizza in Pixel Gun 3D. What do we have first? The dough creator? I don't know. It could be something like the snowball thrower. You know, the snowball gun type thing that was one of those older weapons in Pixel Gun 3D? Instead of snow getting shot out of the weapon, we would have like dough instead of snow. That was an unintentional rhyme, but we would have dough getting shot out of the weapon and then it would shoot into another type of weapon. Maybe something like, I don't know. I don't even know what would be something that would like heat it up or like spin it or something like that. We could have something like the eraser that kind of spins it around and uh, you know, gets it ready, gets it warmed up and then bam, the pizza heater finishes it off. It just heats it up and then um, it takes people out that don't even bother to fight back. Wow, that guy just didn't even care. Nice, that's fantastic. It is definitely a very powerful weapon if people don't decide to fight back. That's what uh, I I've come to realize in Pixel Gun 3D. I mean, my God, look at a demon stone. Look at that. Look at the guy controlling the demon stone. We just destroyed that demon stone. We didn't even think twice about it. I mean, my God, a demon's already probably pretty hot. He comes from, he comes from the center of the earth. He comes from hell. It's probably pretty hot down there. Then we have this thing that's just making him even warmer. This is, uh, this is a pretty powerful pizza heater. That's all I gotta say. It's crazy. Absolutely insane. I like this thing a lot, though. I'm definitely gonna be using this thing. I love the flamethrowers in Pixel Gun 3D, and in the end, this thing is fantastic. It's so much fun to use. I really like using this. And would I recommend getting this? Absolutely. Absolutely. This thing is awesome, and you definitely gotta try it out. And uh, it's definitely worth the price that they put on it, I think. At least compared to some of the other weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. I mean, most weapons really aren't worth the price in this game, but if there was one that probably would be, it's probably this one. I mean, my God, for a backup weapon, you're getting the same level of power as any sort of heavy or sniper weapon in this game. I mean, my God, this thing, it just, it just destroys. It's awesome. It's so much fun. I love it. And uh, you guys will love it too when you do purchase it in Pixel Gun 3D. For a backup weapon, this is about as best as you can get in this game. And honestly, I'd probably give this a 10 rating. This is about as good as you can get. I wouldn't want anything more powerful than this thing because this thing is already OP. If anything was even more powerful than this, it would just be the most broken thing in all of Pixel Gun 3D. I have a strong feeling that they're gonna probably nerf this thing a little bit in a future update just because it is as powerful as it is. I mean, as you all can see, just how easily it's taking literally everybody out. I mean, look at how fast it destroys people. It's unbelievable. So uh, I think probably they're gonna nerf it just a little bit and that's just to make it a little bit more balanced. But if they don't, well, for a long time, this is probably going to be one of the best backup weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. I'm going to be using this a lot in future videos. You can expect this to come in the near future. Maybe I can do like a food weapon gameplay. Is that even a possibility? I don't really know. Food weapon gameplay, anyone? You guys want to see that? Again, let me know down below in the comments. This is a very interactive video. I got a lot of things to say. I got a lot of things that I want your opinions on. So everything that I let you know down below in the comments, just, just, just respond. Let me know, and we can have uh, some interesting opinions being formed in the comments section. But uh, I gotta say, it looks great. Again, a lot of the weapons from this most recent update look fantastic, and if you're watching this and you're on an iOS device, and this update has not been released yet for iOS devices, when this update does come out, this might be one of the first weapons you want to get in this update. This one, and probably something like the revolver sniper rifle. I mean, look at this thing. It just is, it's awesome. One-shot sniper that I talked about in an earlier video. I reviewed that one already, and if you want to see more gameplay with that one. Or uh, the Jet Tenderizer, which as you can see, looks like that. Or the Cyborg Hands, then uh, go check those reviews out. I have them down below in the description. I'll have a link to all of the different reviews that I have done in this most recent update down below in the description, so you can check all of them out. I, <laughs> I don't know why those people decided to just sit there and not bother to fight. What are you doing? Nikox. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what people are doing, but guys, it's just giving me more points, more points, more kills. And then again, and then in the end, honestly, that's, uh, that's really all that we want. We just want a whole lot of kills in Pixel Gun 3D. I mean, my God, we ain't got no shortage of kills now in this video. That's for sure. We probably got more kills in this backup weapon review than most other backup weapons that I have reviewed in the, uh, the past couple of months. Honestly, I mean, look at that 20 kills. We just destroyed. It absolutely annihilated everybody. And I feel like what I should do is maybe go into uh, Coliseum or something like that. But in all honesty, 
I'm kind of set. Silent School is the way to go. Silent School is doing well. You can, uh, you can encounter a lot of people around corners and stuff like that. It's easy to kind of surprise people when you're coming around a corner. Like, okay, I don't know how somebody took me out there. I am very surprised. That person literally shot me through the wall all the way across the map. That's absolutely insane. I don't know if that was an aimbot or something like that or just a massive amount of lag, but uh, that was a little unusual. I don't know what to say about that. That was, uh, that was weird. That was very, very weird. But in the end, that's basically it. I don't really have anything else I could say about this thing. I have very, very, very few negative things I could say about the pizza heater. It's as good as you can get for a backup weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. It is fantastic. We've gotten fantastic gameplay in this video. Impeccable gameplay for a backup weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. I mean, my God, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, guys. Definitely go get this thing if you have the ability to do so. It's fun. It's a lot, a lot of, a lot of fun. I said a lot like three times because it's, it's three times more fun than most other weapons that are fun in Pixel Gun 3D. If you wanted a flamethrower in the backup weapon section, this is the way to go. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. I hope you all did enjoy this video. I hope you all enjoyed the fantastic gameplay we got throughout this video. My God, like I said, so many kills. It's unbelievable. And this thing is so much fun to use. I mean, think about it. For a weapon named Pizza Heater, I'm pretty sure Pixel Gun is the first game ever to have something like that. I don't think any other video game has something similar to this. I mean, maybe the, uh, the design of the weapon is similar, but a name. I just don't know how they came up with this name. It's very unusual, but it works. And it actually works well. So I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Thank you all for watching. If you did watch this far, Comment double kill down below in the comment section on top of the other stuff that I told you to comment down below earlier. Go check out the other reviews that I posted on my channel and make sure to stay tuned for in about an hour or so after this video is going to be posted, I will be doing another Pixel Gun 3D weapon review on this channel. It's going to be another one of the weapons released in this most recent update, so if you wanted to see another new weapon in the game, if you're on an iOS device and you don't know the new weapons from this most recent update, make sure to turn on notifications so you actually can see that, that video whenever it's posted first. You're going to see that thing unbelievably quick after that video is posted to the channel. If, of course, the notifications work. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to actually, I'm kind of tempted to wait right until the very end, but I'm probably not going to do that. We'll just end it here. No point in doing that. If you wanted to see more gameplay, well, I'll do more gameplay with this thing in the near future. So, thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode.